Hey, what's going on guys? It's Chris and I want to welcome you to another video. Um, here we are in 2019 and um, you know, typically people for New Year's will put out New Year's resolutions as a way to either better their life or to implement some sort of change. Um, my New Year's resolution this year was to consistently put out at least one video a week and here we are in the second week of January and I haven't put out any. So technically I failed and um, for that I do apologize I've broken my resolution um, but it's not because I didn't have a video ready or that I wasn't prepared or I was being lazy um, in fact I actually have a video that you'll be seeing here in a few seconds that um, I had teed up ready to go and I was going to upload it on Friday but uh, last week we had a bit of bad news um, and we had to rush up to Sacramento to see my grandmother who wasn't doing too well and uh, a couple days ago, we ended up having to say goodbye. Um, yeah, man, my grandmother was, uh, hands down, one of the strongest women that I know and had in my life. Um, her unconditional love and support for who I was and what I did uh, was definitely a blessing. And um, she's, she's really going to be missed. Um, so I dedicate this video to her. Um, I will be back in two weeks with a whole new video, so please stay tuned, and I will check you guys out later. Without further delay, let's play that new video. Nai, I love you, and I miss you, and I will see you again. What is up, guys? Welcome to another video. It is January 2nd, 2019, and I want to wish you and your family a very happy new year. Um, I know that 2019 is already slated to be a great year just based on all of the great movies that are about to come out, all of the speculated tech that might be coming out this year, who knows. Um, but I just want to start off this video by just saying thank you so much for all of the love and the support that you guys have shown me through this channel, through all of the videos that I've been posting. Um, and I want to pay it forward by praying for you. I just pray that God works in your life in 2019, that he blesses you with health and prosperity for you and your family. So again, thank you guys so very much. And um, really quickly, I just want to throw a quick shout out to my nephew, who is a young entrepreneur up in Sacramento. Um, he is the owner and founder of Luxury by Innovation, which is a clothing line. Um, this is actually a hoodie. I will put links to his website and his Instagram. I encourage you guys to go check them out. All right, so I'm headed to my first job of 2019, which is another mapping job. And you gotta love these mapping jobs, man, because you know not only do they keep the lights on, but they keep these videos going. And um, I just wanted to take this opportunity to start off this new year by answering a lot of the questions that you guys have been posting on my channel, on my videos, and just allow you to get to know me better. All right, so the first question that I got is uh, from a user called Dirty South 2821. He asked, how did you get your start in the drone industry? I'm thinking about trying it out. Will the VA pay for your drone license and class? First question is, uh, how did you get your start in the drone industry? It's kind of a long story, uh, but I'll try to answer it without rambling on too much. You know, I've always been interested in RC. My dad used to build these elaborate planes and fly them, well, attempt to fly them. <laughs> And, um, and that was like way back when, but it wasn't until a few years ago that I decided to get my private pilot's license because I've always wanted to be a pilot. When I grow up, I want to be a pilot. And at the time I was working in corporate America, I was actually a business account manager for a telecommunications company. I'm not gonna say which, but I will tell you that it had a T in its name. Um, and I was miserable, I hated my job. I hate this job. It wasn't so much that I was bad at it, I just didn't like what I was doing. And um, one day we get a newsletter stating that the company was gonna start utilizing drones to do cell tower inspections. And I was really intrigued and um, I went on a tour, found out what they did and you know, figured, yeah, this is what I wanna do. No, yeah, yeah, no, everything's fine. Hey, listen, I quit. So I looked into what it would take to get a part 107 uh, although part 107 wasn't quite out yet, um, I wanted to see what I needed to do to, to prep and get it once it did come out. And seeing as I was already a private pilot, um, it's just a matter of taking a test online and uh, going to the FISDO and getting that certification. So will the VA pay for your class or your drone license? I'm not quite sure because I don't know if that's the, you know, I, I didn't go that route. I know that there are UAS classes at the college that I go to. Um, 
and of course the VA will pay for those. All right, so the next question that I've been getting a lot is how do you even get a drone license? And do you need a drone license? So if you're flying commercially, meaning for pay, then you definitely need a drone license. And the way that you get that is, uh, it's kind of a process. So um, let me break it down. So the first thing you need to do is you need to apply or get an appointment for the remote pilot certificate. Um, and you do that by going on to the CATS website. CATS is like computer assisted testing service or something like that. And they will find a testing center near you. They will schedule it. You pay them $150, which is the cost of the test. And they take care of everything. All right, so the next thing you definitely got to do is you got to study. Um, the test is a 60 question multiple choice uh, test. And I think you need a 70% or better to pass. So. You know, definitely study. If you fail, then you got to pay that 150 again, and I would hate for you to do that. Now, the FAA does have an online study guide, and they have a training course, so that way you can take a look at and get your get kind of familiarized with some of the terms and stuff like that. But um, definitely check that out. I'll make sure to put links to all of this stuff in the description box below. Um, if that isn't enough, you can always go onto online. Uh, resources such as like drone you or go to like in-person classes like um, drone command live um, but I know people who all they did was study and they passed and they have their part 107 license so definitely check those out um, once you do pass then you have to apply through um, IACRA it's uh, it's on the FAA website and you have to go and uh, apply for the remote pilot certificate there they're gonna ask you for your um, your test code and all that stuff to ensure that you passed, and then you could print out a paper certificate, and then they will mail you your your regular certificate. And that's is this is all pending a background check and all that stuff. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much how you get a drone license. Um, and again, you don't necessarily need one if you're flying as a hobbyist, but if you're flying for pay, you definitely need one. I believe there is a fine. I don't know if they're if they're finding people yet, but. Um, I know they're trying to crack down on all of the people who are flying for, for pay or commercially that aren't licensed. Um, and it's like an $1,100 fine. Good Lord, that's a lot of money. To get, just get licensed, that way you're protected. Okay, so another question that I get a lot is um, regarding insurance. It's, it's pretty much a necessity. Um, now, you can get insurance through a company called Verify. Verify is like an on-demand insurance provider. Um, they provide insurance by the hour, by the day. Uh, so you know you're not tied into any long-term things um, and that's cool but uh, I have a an actual policy I have a an aircraft uh, general liability aircraft policy with uh, Hill and Usher uh, I think it's their aerial pack so definitely check them out but um, you know you definitely need insurance in the unfortunate event that you have a crash or a flyaway or anything goes wrong um, at least you're covered and they won't go after you directly because you're insured so definitely get insurance and uh, check out that stuff all right so another question that I get asked a lot is how do I find work or how do I get work um, I, I just network a lot um, and I build relationships I feel like building relationships is gonna be the key to success um, in any type of business so um, you know you need to build trust you need to build that relationship and um, I always 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 go to like um, any type of networking events or um, an industry event for like real estate go on broker tours from there I just hit up construction sites and, and ask them hey are you in need of any type of aerial services and I try to find the foreman or you know the superintendent of that particular site um, you know and just building that relationship and then, then it just becomes a referral based business after that and and I think once you start uh, building that funnel then you become more and more confident and you get to know a lot more people out there, know the players and, and that sort of thing. So uh, definitely networking and building relationships. All right, so I feel like I've been talking too much, so I don't want this video to be uh, too long. So I think I'm gonna end it here, but I definitely want to thank you once again. Um, if you haven't yet subscribed, please consider subscribing. And if you have any other questions, make sure you drop those in the comment section below. Definitely appreciate and read all of your comments. And um, if you get a chance, follow me on my social media. I will put links down below to all my social media. And again, thank you so very much. Happy New Year. I wish you guys the best. Fly safe and God bless. Peace out. Uh, dirty south. Uh -huh. Can y'all really feel me? Feel us. 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 Say what? Dirty south. Uh. Here we go.